service dog stolen from homeless woman, found 1,700 plus miles from home three years later Lady Bird, a Staffordshire Terrier, lived much much of her life as a service dog for a woman with narcolepsy and seizures. Eventually, the woman's ailments were too much, and she was forced out of work. With no money to pay her bills, the woman turned to living on the streets. Ladybird stayed with her though, and was her only family for the remainder of her life. As Sharon Henderson, a friend of the woman, said, this dog eventually took care of her, was her only family, and pulled her wheelchair. Miss Jane another friend and I fell in love with both the owner and her dog. Separately we made sure she got to the vet and got her food and groceries and stuff. The two had already become part owners of the dog, so when Ladybird's owner received news that she was dying, she asked Henderson and Miss Jane if they would take care of the dog once she was gone. Henderson and Miss Jane had every intention of taking Ladybird after her owner died, but they were too late. Shortly after her death, another homeless man swept in and took the dog. The neighbor in the living facility called this other homeless guy and he came and took Ladybird in the middle of the night knowing that her wishes were that he not have her, Henderson told KTBC. Apparently, the man saw the opportunity to make some money. She made a lot of money for people, he couldn't make any money without her, Henderson said. She has spent her life smelling car exhaust on the median by the Olive Garden on Lamar. Before they could put up a fight. Henderson got a call that the homeless man had skipped town. It wasn't long before we got a call that he was in Portland, Oregon, that he had hitchhiked his way whole way there. That whole trip must have been horrendous for her, she said. Henderson thought she'd never see Ladybird again until she got a call three years later. Ladybird was found roaming the streets in Portland, Oregon, severely malnourished, almost completely deaf, with a large tumor growing inside her. She had eaten in so long, so had no jowl muscles, her head muscles had atrophied, and she couldn't even chew, her ribs were sticking out, and she couldn't even go up two stairs without falling backwards, Henderson said. Thankfully, Ladybird had a microchip implant that allowed animal rescue workers to identify where she had come from. They got the dog into foster care with a great family, who helped Ladybird get healthy, so she could make the journey back home. Now, she's back where her original owner wanted her to be, with Henderson and Miss Jane. I want her to enjoy the rest of her life in the lap of luxury she's never known, and have a family, Henderson said. She plans to spoil the good girl for, as long as she's with them. Another stolen dog was found thousands of miles from home as well. This one, however, was a rescue. Richard Monica Florida left his dog, Relay, in the care of his dad in West Palm Beach. His dad put the dog in his backyard, and as some dogs have a habit of doing, Relay pulled her best Houdini act and escaped. Then 18-year-old Richard had a thought. They went to a nearby gas station and asked if they perhaps had video footage, hoping to spot Relay walking down their sidewalk out front. What they spotted was not encouraging whatsoever. A stranger had whistled for the dog to come to him, and she had. That was the last time she was ever seen. Monik resigned himself to the cold, hard fact he would never again see his faithful companion, and gave up looking. But life sometimes works in mysterious ways. Nearly 18 months later, and much to his stunned surprise, the four-year-old German shepherd Jack Russell Terrier mix was found. She was in New York, nearly 1,000 miles away. Workers at Bobby and the Stray's Animal Rescue scanned the dog's microchip and immediately placed a call. That unexpected call reached Monik's father. The moral of these stories is that microchipping your dogs can reunite you with your beloved companion, even over long distances in many years. Be a responsible pet owner and get your dog or cat a microchip.